Uh, hi guys, what we're actually doing today is undoing the bolts off the chassis. We've got this plumb bob here. So we're taking out the bolt holes, we're taking out the bolts, we're dropping that down. And we're drawing, we're going to draw it out on the floor where that'll give us a good, they'll tell us where the holes and stuff are. And then we're going to measure up, so each one. We're going to just, I don't know, we're not going to use every point, but we're just, we're starting to make our jig to stick the body on, and that's how we're going to do it. I've moved the car out of the way. Here's our measurements on the floor here. There's one, two. We're not going to use that one, but we measured it anyway. We're going to use that one and that one. That one and that one. And these two back ones, we're going to have eight points. Now we've transferred it. This is our plan here. Let's put that away. There's our plan, so we don't even need that crap on the floor now. So I've got that piece of 50mm tube. That's going to make our uprights. I'm going to cut this thing here up. That's 40 mil. So I'm going to use, cut that up and see what I've got. And then I'm going to have to buy a bit more of that 40 mil. Then I'll go up the hardware store and buy eight wheels. Well, there's the bait, the outline of our frame just sitting on the floor. We we'll weld that up. We just cut that steel out of that other thing. I'm going to use that 50 mil. I'm going to cut eight lengths of that. I'm going to make it about a hundred higher and with the wheels it'll be up nice and high to paint so I'll paint this car sitting on this frame. Well, I've got the frame there all tacked into position. It was handy having that stuff written on the floor so I could set it there. But what I actually did was made a mistake. These things here, I cut them to the point but I actually needed each side to be 50, 25 mil longer on each side. I'm going to be putting those 50 mil tubes here uprights and like if it was right on the edge that would have been sitting like that so now I've made 25 mil longer on each side so it'll be right anyway I was just thinking about that last night and thinking oh, I think I made that wrong and I checked it this morning and yeah anyway I just got to continuously weld that now yes you're all welded I'll just flip it over, I've got to just weld underneath of it now. And that, this section of it's done. And then I've got to cut that other long bit of 50 out. And these tubes will go here, but they'll be up a lot higher. That's just a short piece. And what I'll probably do is cap that off. It's all welded now, that's the first stage of it. Uh, tomorrow I'll, I'll chop that up, measure out the uprights, cap them off. I'll have to go get some wheels for it. I think it'll be strong enough. It's going to have eight wheels, so each point will have a wheel. It should be strong. Let's see what happens. I might have to brace it a bit, but I think it'll be fine. Got the wheels I need. I got four of this type to have a brake, and these ones, four of those ones, go in the middle, the same height. And I'm going to have the four with the brake on the, the, each corner, and these other four will go in the middle. That twelve dollars five for those, and they're fourteen fifty or something. God damn! I'm just going to put them on with these tech screws, and then I'll, if they're right, I'll give them. A, I'll just tack them. I'm, I don't because I want to be able to use these for something else in the future. And that's it there. I've already flipped it over. I just put one tech screw in each one, made sure it's sat level. Like every wheel touched the ground, the floor is pretty level here. And just that one tech screw held that on really tight. I'd get a hammer to move it. So three of those tech screws is plenty. I'm not going to bother tacking it. They hold it in good. And I'll just flip it over. Yeah, it rolls along good. Got brake on each corner. Just this front two and the back two. All the wheels are touching the ground, that's good, it didn't buckle. A lot of times that sort of thing can buckle when you're welding it. Yeah, it's only a temporary thing. And... See that? Probably not.
Starting to take shape. These things are just sitting here at the moment. And basically, that's what's going to look like. It looks something like that. The two end ones, I can bolt straight down into it. But the two middle ones, you got to bolt from underneath. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let it sit there. Which will probably be enough. I don't think it has to be bolted in the center. If I do do that, I'd have to change it some here so that I can bolt up up that way. So I'd have to have a little bit of angle or something coming off here, move that a bit, and then put a bolt under there. I'll have a think about it. I think just sitting on that will be enough, and just bolt it at each end.
done now. It's all done. I'll change this. Because you've got to bolt up. There's room to move this post in. So I'm going to drill a hole there and I can bolt that. I'll bolt the front. I've changed this bit. So it sort of slots up into this section. That, that'll just sit in there and hold itself. So I'll have six bolts hold it to the car. That's heaps. That'll be plenty. And actually, I'm, I probably might don't even have to rev this because that's five mil plate I've put in there. I'm just going to drill a hole and tap it. Five mil threads, plenty. Anyway, that's that thing's done. It's just pretty much got to pick that up and put it on here. But I've got to drill these holes, so I'll just mark them out. I can drill these ones while it's on the car and tap it and get down in there. I can drill and tap the, the, the two front ones and the two back ones. This is what I will do. So I've just got to carefully mark this out and then I can bolt that up from underneath. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. At least the bloody thing's done, that's all I care. I've measured that out and everything's right. That, that hole and that hole will hit up under the chassis. Let's see how good that is. You know, that's done. This is done. Just got to go over and undo a few bits and pieces here. I'll get that out of the way. Might take this fan off. Just take a few bits and pieces off that. And make sure it make it easier to lift it up. Out of the way. No, anyway, that's enough for today. I've had enough of it. To get this body, to lift this body straight up, I've got to move a few things. I've just pulled that air cleaner off. I may have to take this off yet. Because these brake lines, right, they've got to be undone. They go down in there. I don't know if you can see that. This torch here. Down here, there's a brake line that I've got to snap off, uh, crack off. I might be able to get it. No, I'm going to have to get it. I've got no choice unless I cut the line, which I don't want to do. I want to try and save these. So anyway, I'll do then see if I can start getting them off. When you can see bits of rust there on the chassis, it's just surface rust. But things like that have to be all done. You can't lift that off while any of that's hooked up. Everything has to be freed of the car. So that's the first thing I'm doing today is working on these brake pipes obviously there's four of them one in each corner they got to be done because you can't lift it up while they're hooked well, i've got that line off and i also got the line out i've taken the line out there it is on the floor there these tools here oh, they're a must have they're the best brake pipe panners, spanners you can get they do not slip and they also ratchet so you flick that over the pipe and just whichever way you want it, you just, they don't slip, they're just great. I wouldn't have got that off without that tool, no way in hell. That's been on there for 60, 50 something years. Just comes straight off. And I've got one down here to get next, and I can get this pipe off easier, hopefully, than the other one. Looks like it's already hanging off anyway. Well, I've got all the brakes undone, I've managed to get the pipes out as well, which is good. Um, that's done, everything's undone. These bolts here, they're undone, but they're just, I don't know, they're stuck in there for some reason. I'll, it lifts up. I've had this off and lifted it up. The back's ready to go. The handbrake's disconnected. All the back brakes are disconnected. I just got to figure out a way of lifting this body up. It's too heavy. I can't, there's no way in hell I can do it by myself. I, I think it would take at least four guys to lift this body off. Like it's still got a bit of weight to it. So I'm thinking of, I might have used the hoist. I've just got to figure a way of rigging it to the hoist. Anyway, that's tomorrow. Okay. I'll wipe this <laughs> These new lines, well, they won't be going back on. They, they won't be fucking around with old brake lines. Yeah, look at the brake 
wouldn't even. He wouldn't. He wouldn't put your life in your hands for that way. Take her up. Keep going. I see now. Just I gotta go down about an inch. Keep going. This side looks pretty good. Looks like the 50 mil tube is a bit heavy. This side's on. This is sitting on it. There. Just about in position. Looks like that that side might be just around the edge. Have to come forward a bit, sort of thing. It might be just this. No, it's fine. It's right. It's sitting on it first. Yeah, no, it's sitting on it. It's just bolting it. Might be. I just want to see if it's going to line up this bolt. I'm on the yeah, I might do that now. Yeah. I don't even need to come off either. Just to leave the weight of it. Just to hold it. I'll do that jump. I might get you to start undoing these ropes, Matt. Yeah. Undo them all? Yeah. Take them off. Just there they are, side by side. The chassis off. I've had, just had this outside, gurneyed all the you know, build up and shit off it, but all this stuff's got to be pulled apart, painted. The ball joints and everything are rebuildable on these. I just need to buy new boots. The rack's rebuildable. Basically, you just pull it apart and clean it. Put it back together. The motor doesn't seem like it's got much compression. You know, I've got to check that. I took the generator off it. I didn't want to get that wet. Carby's got to be pulled apart. Like all this stuff's going to get aqua blasted. I might even buy myself an aqua blaster rather than pay someone to do it. They just charge too much. They're not, they're not real cheap things to buy, but you know, I can probably do that and charge people. All this stuff here is getting aqua blasted. That's where the chains are inside. Pull all that off. This thing's going to the powder coaters. It looks like it was originally grey, so the chassis is going to be done grey. All the suspension components will be black. It doesn't have any springs at the front. It's got, it's got springs, that, it's got coilovers on the back, but there's no springs at the front. It's just got shocks. And this has got, it's got some little weird setup in here. I'm not sure if that's like a torsion bar or something. I have to look into that. I don't know what that is. It either raises and lowers the car, or it is, it is part of this, like a torsion bar setup. Well, I'll look into that. Overall, I'm very happy with it. This thing here turned out pretty bloody good. 
pretty bloody good. I'm real happy with that. It really doesn't even need bolts. Anyway, and, and it moves around nice and easy. If I want to just move this thing, I can just move it with two fingers. And then you just lock up those brakes and it won't move. I've, got to, I've just got to take the brake lines off. Brake, this brake line runs down to the back and comes down into up in there. So I want all that off. Like that's probably, I don't know what that fitting's made of, but that's going to be just bare whatever it is. These things here will get paint stripped and polished, these pipes. Everything will just get, you know, it's just going to look the way it was. That's how I want it. I don't want to paint that stuff. It look, to me, it looks stupid. This will all be treated and painted underneath. It'll be the same colour as the car. But, you know, I think I'm white. But we'll see. Anyway, for now, this is just getting parked over to the side. I'm going to be working on pulling the engine out, get the diff out, all that crap off. Send that chassis up to the powder coaters. At least that's something I don't have to do. I just give it to them. They give it back to me and it looks new. Anyway, thanks very much for looking at the video and we just got to keep going.